Here's exactly how you can rank on the first page of Google within 24 hours. On my screen, we have one of the video topics that I created, and this allowed me to rank on the first page of Google for this exact keyword phrase. The video topic is how to build a personal brand with AI. When you click on this, whether it's incognito, a different browser, this video shows up on the first page of Google, and it's bringing me in search traffic, and it's also getting views on YouTube's recommendations. So I'm getting a double whammy here, which is awesome. Doing the same thing with this video here, how to find trends with AI. This video is ranking on the first page of Google and it's bringing me in traffic. The same day that I published the video, it also started ranking on the first page of Google. Same thing with this video here, which is AI blogging tutorial. This is getting me a ton of search traffic. It's also getting me a ton of recommendation or browse views. So if you put in AI blogging tutorial, I'm ranking on the first page of Google. Now we have some other ones from way back when, when I used to do this two, three years ago, this is best credit repair software. Not only am I ranking number one for the article, but if you scroll a little bit down, I am ranking on the first page of Google for best credit repair software. And this is in a completely separate niche. All right, so the first step in this entire process is either finding an idea, trending topic, or a product in your category or niche. You as an expert or someone who's experienced in your area should already be living in the communities, the platforms that your target audience is currently in. So you should be seeing the type of products that people might be talking about, maybe new trends or ads that are you're getting hit with in your specific category. This will allow you to start thinking or getting inspiration of these products and services. This is the free and manual way to think about those ideas. Then you're going to want to think about the search intent, whether that is informational or transactional. So you need to think about the way that you need to create that video or product review and figure out how you can establish yourself with that video topic and make sure that you record it, hit publish, optimize it for SEO. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I usually find my video topics before it goes mainstream using an AI tool. Now that you know the manual way, this is the way I usually find my topics before they go mainstream. And this is using a trend spotting tool like explodingtopics.com, or you can also use another tool called Glimpse. What these tools do is it tracks products, services, keywords, using a bunch of third-party vendors or data to help us think about these ideas, either from TikTok and Instagram, all these different places where you can find potential products or services to talk about before they are mainstream. Inside of Exploding Topics, there's a bunch of different filters here. You can use their trends database and find unique ideas in a separate category. You can also look at the trending startups, which is if you're in the SaaS or online industry, Industry, this is what you're going to want to look at. You can filter by these specific time frames. And again, this is exploding topics on the paid version. So just to keep you aware of that, you can look at the time frames and usually you're going to want to do six months to three months so you can find a product that you can promote or talk about and make sure that it has no content already published. If you're in like the e-commerce space, you can look at trending products and find ideas from here. Again, use the filters and you can look at meta trends as well. So this is again for someone who's in the online business or online industry. So this is exactly what I did to find my topic for best credit repair software to rank on the first page of Google. Also create an article and rank number one for that as well before my competition did. Here, if you go to trends, you're going to want to use the startups if you're in the SaaS space. So let's just go ahead and filter this by three months. Then you can also change the category. And here we have a tool called uh, Reclaim AI. So this is potentially a solid tool to make a video on or maybe even do a product review for. So let's go ahead and just look at the company and see if anyone's already created a product review on YouTube. So we're going to go ahead and enter the product here. We're going to do reclaim.ai and this is a good sign. So it looks like there's not too much going on yet. Uh, reclaim AI review 2023, five months ago. Reclaim branding. This is from the actual company. This is from the company. Uh, so this is a good example of potentially creating a reclaim review video so we can rank on the first page of Google. So let's go ahead and type this in here. Reclaim review. This potentially could be a good video topic to create right now. So you can rank on the first page of Google with the video idea. And you could even create an article on this, but I'd highly recommend it right now because I see that the first page 
is even the company itself. Usually when I see that, that's a good example of like, hey, maybe you know Google's going towards UGC or user generated content. So if I were to create that video right now, I more than likely could beat them or take over the SERP for this video snippet. So this is just one example. It's not the best because it looks like some there's already other creators, but you get the idea. You can easily find video topics or the products before they go mainstream and create them for yourself. So you can rank on the first page of Google. This again leads to like the intent so obviously we're looking at products. We're going to know that the product is going to be a review post or a review video. So you're going to want to make sure that you create that intentional review video and keep it at that same intent. So once you create the video, you need to make sure that you have all of your SEO in place on YouTube. All right. So now that you've created the video, you're going to want to optimize all of your settings for that specific term. If you look at this video that's ranking on the first page of Google, you're going to see that I have the title best credit repair software in the intro that's the first thing that i say here are the five best credit per software so i know that youtube can analyze the transcript so i think that has some kind of play into this i don't have a scientific framework yet but i do believe that if you have that in the intro or if you have if you say the word in the transcript that is also getting scanned and i have the title as well in the description so here are the five best credit per software i also have people commenting that in the video and then in my timestamps or time codes i talk about the five best credit pair software so you can see here I don't think tags are that important, but I do have credit pair software in the tags. I also have it as the main intent for vidIQ, which is a tool that I use to optimize my videos. So overall, this is doing really well in regards to SEO and getting search traffic. So this is exactly what you want to do. So you can have Google or YouTube interpret the data so you can rank on the first page of Google for this specific video. So this is exactly what I'm doing in order to rank my content. So that essentially sums up how I rank my content in within 20 24 hours on Google. So try to do this for yourself. Try to optimize your video, say the title, say the keyword in the very beginning, and just test it for yourself. Look for products and services or just information that is up and coming that you haven't seen answered yet on Google or from other creators. Publish that video, just do it, see what happens. And I hope that you can find the same results that I did by doing the same method. So if you wanna learn how to find more trending topics, you can watch this video next. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.